Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the States FC. And yes, finally we have competitive games after almost a two-year layoff. I am super excited. So anyway, I'm going to be predicting the roster for this upcoming FIFA June window for two friendlies in the two Nations League game. So I'm going to be doing what I think Greg Berhalter is going to do and my personal picks. So anyway, let's dive into these rosters. Alright, so goalkeeper is pretty straightforward. These are my personal three. And what I think Berhalter is going to choose is going to be Zach Steven, Ethan Horvath, and Matt Turner. Our three best goalkeepers is not really debatable. Zach Steff will not be the first friendly against Switzerland because he is in Champions League, so that is very, very exciting. So it's going to be between Ethan Horvath and Matt Turner to start that game against Switzerland, but I fully expect Zach Steff to start the remaining games. So anyway, those that's it for goalkeepers. Okay, so next up for defenders, this is what I think Burhal is going to do. He's going to choose Tim Ream, Matt Miazga, Aaron Long, Reggie Cannon, Anthony Robinson, John Burks, Chris Richards, and Serginio Dez. Now, one of the starting center backs is going to be interesting to see who he chooses. It's probably between Aaron Long and Chris Richards, don't know. I think he's going to call up Tim Ream because he's just been doing that for the past multiple windows, even though Tim Ream should be well beyond the national team days. Um, he got some really good solid depth pieces like Matt Miazga or Reggie Cannon. It's also going to be interesting to see who gets the nods between Anthony Robinson and Reggie Cannon for the fullback spot because that's going to play on both flanks. So anyway, I really, really like these defenders. I think all these guys can get the job done. All are going to be consistent and going to do very, very well. All right, so this is what I would personally choose for the defenders. I would get rid of uh, Tim Ream just because I don't think he should be there. So that way, because we only have four games, and Chris Rich can play left back in case of emergency. Serginho Dez can play multiple positions. I just think there's no there's no need to bring Tim Ream. I don't think leadership's going to be a problem. But anyway, and you can also add another midfielder and attacker. So anyway, I think that's just going to be more useful. All right, so next up to the midfield, this is what I think Greg Berhalter's going to do. Tyler Adams is pretty straightforward. Our starting six, one of our most important players, was not there last camp. And you could obviously feel the miss, missing presence of Tyler Adams. That second CDM spot is going to be Jackson Newell. No one has stepped up and taken that second spot. I was sorry, Cardoso. No one has stepped up. Jackson Newell has done pretty well with the U.S. So that makes me think he should be there and he's going to be there. Um, Kellen Acosta is probably going to be used as an 8. Greg Brother seems to really like Kellen Acosta. Kellen Acosta, in my opinion, is not a first-team national teamer. I'm okay with him going to the Gold Cup, but I just don't think he should be there. Um, really, really bad when you compress time and space. I've heard a lot of people say that. And it's just true. The more you watch him, he's just not really that good in tight spaces. West McKinney and Musa, those dual aids, probably going to be starting the both Nations League games. And Sebastian Legit, another consistent national team performer. I said no problems. It just balled out anytime he's been in the national team. So those are the six midfielders that I would expect Greg Berhalter to choose. All right, next up, these are my personal midfielders. Like I said, Adams and you are the sixth. I would switch Kellen Acosta and Luca De La Torre. Because Luca De La Torre, last camp, very, very good in his limited minutes. He's seen to control the ball really well. Really good under pressure. Um, he can play many positions in the midfield between the 6, the 8, and the 10. He's also been really doing really, really well in the Eredivisie, which is actually a very, very good league. And I think Luca De La Torre reminds me a lot of, um, I don't know if you guys remember, but um, Miss, Mix Discrude, very similar, very good player, you know, in tight spaces and just can create from the midfield. I think those are two just really similar players. But anyway, then you got McKinney, Moose, and Legit, and those other dual eights. So anyway, really good midfielder group, and I'm excited to see. Okay, so next up, the attackers. Pretty obvious, got Christian Pulisic. Now, Pulisic won't be there for the switch from the game on May 30th because he's at Champions League. So fingers crossed, Chelsea can win Champions League, and I can see Pulisic lift the Champions League trophy, going to be the first American to do so with an American flag. That would be the most iconic pick driver. But anyway, hopefully he can play Nations League. I would not start against Honduras. Just coming back from Istanbul on short rest, but he's going to be healthy for the Mexico game. So Pulisic, very, very excited to see him again. Gio Reyna, probably going to be used as a winger like he has been the last two camps. Been really, really well for Dortmund lately. Keep an eye on his form is going up and up. Brendan Aronson, probably going to be used as a winger. I just think he's really good out wide. Not the best as a pressing duel late, so using him out wide when he has more time and space in the ball to pick out that killer pass or dribble pass his man. I think that's just more beneficial to Brendan Aronson. Same way, a guy who can play up top, but I think he's going to be used as a winger, probably coming off the bench, if not the first, so off the bench for the competitive games. Josh Sargent should lead the line, not really debatable, our most well-rounded striker. Now, the last striker spot can be very interesting because Berhalter seems to rate Alcidor and Zardes. You have Sabaccio and Ferreira, who, they're okay, but I don't think they're quite at the first team level. Thero DK has been absolutely balling out for Barnsley, his big physical presence, and you know, his good, sorry. Still has a lot of growing to do, so I think Daryl DK coming off the bench for 15-20 minutes, you know, being that physical presence, pressing that back line is going to be a very, very scary thing for Mexico and probably Honduras. 
So anyway, those are the tackles that I think will get called up. Now these are the ones that I personally choose. Since I left off Tim Ream, that leaves it that leaves a door open for a midfielder or a forward. Which in this case, I would personally choose Connor De La Fuente because hypothetically, you know, Gio Reyna and Brennan Aronson, they're more midfielders, not really explosive wingers. Tim Way, he's an explosive winger, but he's also he seems to tuck in a lot more. He's not your typical get to the byline putting a cross type winger. So Connor De La Fuente is very similar to Pulisic, but you know, same explosiveness, maybe not the same effectiveness. But let's say Pulisic does go down, Connor De La Fuente on the bench. An emergency could also be very, very useful. So those are the 23 guys that I would choose. Very good group between defenders, um, midfielders, and attackers. And Berhalter is going to do a good job. Don't worry about it. Berhalter is not going to be choosing 8 or 9 MLS guys. Guys, we've moved on from that phase. Berhalter is going to do a fine job choosing this roster. I have full confidence in him. But anyway, guys, that's it, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to please like and subscribe. Like I said, I am super excited for these games. A very, very strong group. Let's hope that we can go out and be Honduras. We can't take them lightly. Then hopefully we get a spot in the final against Mexico. And we can go out, beat them, lift the trophy, get these guys some rest for qualifying, and move to the Gold Cup. But anyway, that's it for this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching.